Welcome to Late to the Show. Today I have an NZXT Tower. It's a midsize H H seven hundred I. So this is a different unit compared to the other one. I'm going to show you two different units. I bought actually two cases, but we're going to build two different machines. Um, one's going to house an i ninety a nine nine Intel i nine. Uh, the other one we're still debating on what we're going to do, but we have a great video card for it that we're going to include. But this one we're going to open it up and we're going to review it first. And you guys, let me know what you guys think. Um, I know I'm doing my green screen here. You see some of my mess in the background, but I'm still cleaning up in here, <laughs> even after the holidays. So today, let's go ahead and open this sucker up. Finally, out of the box. Let's try to open this sucker up here. There's one in. Here's the other end. Voila. We're not going to remove the plastic yet. I'm going to keep it on, but I just want you to review some of the stuff. Check this out. This is why I got it air ventilations all around the unit and I am gonna overclock this sucker so I need to make sure that air is circulating through the whole system itself um, top of it you guys can see it all these USB connections I'm gonna put point them out first you got your audio connection all four USB connections and then you have your power button in here of course on front of it nothing nothing but on the other side, check it out, on the other side. The other side has another air ventilation more. So we're gonna open it up, see what you get, and how do we open the other side, and the, the front of it, and the back of it. And we're gonna take all around, a look all around. And if you guys notice, it's black inside, completely black. And we're gonna fit it out with another motherboard, and we have a mock-up motherboard, and see how well it works. There's four screws in here. And they're hand tied right now, but you can actually screw them in there with a flathead. Um, really thin ends, you know, if you guys can see them. So we're going to remove the glass. And we'll put these on the side. There we go. So this is loose in there, of course. But there is another one going somewhere in here. It's somewhere in here. So we're going to take a look at it, the whole unit itself right now. Uh, basically, what I'm looking at is the LED lights on the top. So this is the LED version, all right? Uh, controllers are right here. There's a LED light control. If you guys see it, it's this LED light in this one, and it's a controller for it. Um, this one particular right here, it runs through the whole top. It's just one little strip from here to here. We're looking at um, a couple. Of, uh, let me see how many inches. This is pretty much around ten and a half inches of LED lights. That's all you get. Ten and a half, and this is gonna light up the whole system itself. All right, we're gonna continue, and I just moved it from one side to the other. Um, like some of the stuff, there's a uh, an actual base for a hard drive, and they give you two more bases that were loose inside right now. I just removed them out, but they they go for the other end. I'm gonna show you guys in a bit right now. I'm gonna tilt this just a little bit so you guys can see a little bit more of the inside. And if you guys can see it, the LED lights are up here. I'm gonna turn myself off real quick. There's plenty of room right here. There's LED lights, like I said, they're all over here on the top on the this is a top base, right? On the top, you could fit a water cooling, whether it's water base um, or for this GPU, CPU, and the radiator will fit perfectly enough in there. There's plenty of room. It goes all around, the, all across the whole tower itself. So on, on one end, and then let me show you another thing too. If you guys can see right there, there's your LGB, uh, your RGB lighting connection controller for the LED lights. Uh, if you want to connect that, you can connect that to your, your actual motherboard directly. And there's a controller right there. It's ready to go in there. Of course, they give you the connection here, like I was talking about. And it even gives you the points on where to start from. Because some people don't know exactly where to point this out or where to connect this. Uh, I mean, plenty of room for your actual power supply. Um, you can fit any size power supply currently available right now. This is an old motherboard I had. It burned out on me a couple years, uh, like a, a year or two years ago. And we're gonna place it here. So I'm not, I'm not concerned about damaging it right now. And we're gonna fit it out in here and see how well it fits. So basically, the mother will be in one base, and the GPU, the the CPU connections will be on this side. So we'll line it up right now. So this is a mock-up of how it looked like. There's plenty of room. 
Uh, if you guys can see it, all these connections on the PCI Express cards are con uh, able to connect. Every single one has a, a actual connection to the actual base in here. So you have plenty of room for any type of motherboard that's currently out in the market right now. Plenty of room for more. There's actually, it extends all around here. In fact, let me see how much more it could extend. If you have a larger motherboard, About nine inches and a half, 9.2 uh, inches uh, of a length of it. It's actually nine, just to be safe, right? From there to there, you could actually fit a larger motherboard. Uh, plenty of room for it. And if you guys can see, it has it has set up for a larger one. There's three more of, on the outside. Uh, of course, this is a smaller motherboard. Uh, but like I said, you could buy yourself a larger one. It's simple. Uh, the MSI has, the, has a larger one that will fit complete to the end. Uh, extra connections like i said all the slots are available all the slots would hit wouldn't hit would just be properly input in here these two would be made basically for uh gpus two dual gpus you could you could actually bridge them when no at ease they have plenty of room um extra ports here in case you have an elgato car you can always connect it you have plenty of room here too uh i don't have the ion shield right now it's not it's not available i can't even find it. it's an old motherboard so we're not even going to place that in there we're going to take that out and we're just mocking it up right now so you guys can see what you guys get when you purchase this stuff so so far i'm very impressed with it like it um filters you guys can see my fingers in here this is what i'm talking about this is what i need this it has a lot of airflow in here and it's pretty much covered everywhere all around the whole unit all around the whole unit if you guys can see it i like it that it goes all around the unit it's an l shape and if you guys see everything it could be it's like hole punch and air is going to flow very extremely very good this is tied down right now but you can loosen it up and plug it into your motherboard and control it from your motherboard now we're going to take a look at it we're going to open it up on the other side and see what else you get let's get ahead and get rid of the motherboard uh to remove the back end it's just one body push it you grab it and it opens up at ease so i like that one button thing so let's go ahead and take it up now this part i like so all the cables that are tied down for your motherboard are all tied down nice and neat you guys can see this is well made they have different versions of this but this version looks like you know they have zip ties down here and velcro to tie down you can zip tie some of the stuff that's loose they give you an extra box for the external hard drives let me bring this up a little higher you can see the boxes here for your drives your mechanical drive your solid state hard drive on here in particular there is a box that when it's pulled out here this box has everything you're going to need in here to tie down your actual motherboard so let's open it up what else is included in there Everything is nice and neat in bags. Um, extra. Oh, look at this. More RGB lighting. If you guys can see more connections. And there was double-sided tape that you could tape it up on, on the, the other end that's missing the other corner. Uh, zip ties, um, screws, uh, random screws in different different sacks of um, bags that have the little small screws there for the motherboard. They're all covered in here. This is great. They give you everything nice and neat. And instructions, of course, of the whole system of which you can modify. A lot of people have modded these, and they give you every single connection information of how to how to set up how to how to mount a motherboard in here. I like this. This is a plus. All right, let's do a little demo. So I have two hard drives in here, and they're basically going to go in here. These are solid state hard drives, the 2.3. Um, they're going to be mock up. I'm mocking them up right now. How they will be lined up, and of course. The back end is going to have to be facing down this direction, of course. Um, if you guys can see a mock-up, this is a solid state hard drive. And we're talking about 250 as a mock-up. All the cables are going to run to the bottom here, down to the actual connections that are going to be connected to the to the actual motherboard. So they could be lined up. And if you guys can see them, they both get nice and neat in here, not interfering with anything else. I'm going to mock up the motherboard from one end, how it would look like from the other side. So basically, you, what you have is this is going to be facing down on the other opposite end. And it's going to be, this is what you're going to look in the back. So on one end, 
all the mock-ups all the connections are going to be all the saddles are going to be pretty much on the side of the motherboard on here and what we're looking at the motherboard is going to be the saddle connections on this side so every cable could be lined up through here remove this to the side all the cables are going to be running through here uh gpu connection on the cpu connection will run into the top in here so you're basically not going to see anything you could even tie it down if you want you could add additional hard drives two more hard drives on this back end right here larger hard drives the larger 3.5s um solid state mechanical drives you could run them in here sit at ease cables i like this that they're all lined up correctly and if you guys see there's all these rgb lighting connections and additional fan support if you want to add extra fans you see this they're all ready to go every single connection everything's nice and neat in here um do not connect base water pump so you cannot connect your base water pump to this power of course if there's not enough power i would suggest you connect it to its own power or to the motherboard but sometimes it is a backup you don't want to do that just have it its own power supply so another way you can do that um you're going to have the power supply which is not going to take all the space in there power supply is pretty much going to take around five to six inches in there so you got plenty of room you can have a lot of room so your cables could go underneath and underneath there is a a, a bottom slot let me see if i can bring it underneath there's a bottom slot right there that you could pass all the cables go through through here all the cables go go through on the top slot and of course right below it there is a filter system in here if you guys can see it the filter system is right in front of it there's a filter system filter system in here it's a mesh a little simple mesh you can add another one in the back you can purchase another one there's tie downs for actually removing some of the components if you guys see that there's removable components in here so let's go ahead and move this out well i'm very impressed with this whole system how it's set up it's very easy to use easy to take apart the button in the back just to push that you can actually lock it up if you want to by adding a screw the, this bar that goes across the whole thing can be removed too there's a screw here and there's one underneath here this was very um pr this process of building this tower itself took time it, it was there was a mistakes in the other older version this newer version looks a lot of well made easy to access a lot of these components that you're going to need access to uh i personally like it but the price is a little too high um, there's other machines that are coming out that are copying similar to this so maybe the next model that you're going to see is going to be a, uh, a generic version of it that might be better than this but this is a great machine a great hardware to actually add to your motherboard and your computer and your component on um, the pexy glass i've seen a couple of um, people do some modifications on it some people have uh, the snow screen and they have um they put stickers on them and all that stuff so you could do that uh, to mess around with the colors that you have rgb lighting is available like i said it's all included in here uh they give you the extra easy tape but I, my suggestion if you're gonna get some like this maybe buy the one with the rgb lighting uh, i mean you could buy it for um, another 50 bucks cheaper and just buy yourself a strip of led lights and you could do the same thing instead of paying the full price so if you have any questions or any comments hit me up i'm your host prophet 74 out Woo! <laughs>